the government of St. Lucia is taking significant steps to protect the Peter Management Area or the PMA, a recognized World Heritage Site since 2004. The government has now made it a legally protected Environmental Protection Area, EPA, through statutory instrument number 7, 2024. This is one of the most significant um, achievements in the last 20 years. Um, ever since the Peter Management Area was designated a World Heritage Site by the World Heritage Committee of the United Nations, uh, we have been, we had a notice of, of declaration to make the area an environmental protection area. And so over the years, we have had lots of um, delicate battles, intricate battles within and without of St. Lucia. Um, we've had threats of losing our status, which had been defended by successive ministers of, for the environment, as, such as Minister G Jimmy Fletcher, Minister Richard Frederick. And finally, uh, we have had local challenges in the courts of law. And what the courts have said that what we had there was not, we were not standing, we didn't have legal legs to stand on. So what this um, statutory instrument has done is to give us those legal legs to stand on in decision making, in protecting the patrimony of St. Lucia. This new law ensures that the PMA is preserved for its outstanding natural beauty and unique geological features. The limits of acceptable change, which is, uh, of course, it was policy adopted by cabinet conclusion, but it was not law. So now we have adapted this um, P, um, limits of acceptable change and the Piton management area um, report that was done by the um, another um, body, that this now we have put all of that and captured the, um, put in the, the specifications of what can and cannot happen within the area. That's essentially what it does. So it falls within or subsumed as a reg part of the regulations of the Physical Planning and Development Act of 2005. Concerns about development in the area prompted the government to conduct studies to manage and protect the PMA. These studies, including the limits of acceptable change or the LAC, outlined strict guidelines for any development, such as building heights, colors, and environmental impact assessments. And now the DCA and the other agencies, such as the PTOR management area, um, advisory Committee and the uh, Department of Sustainable Development, we and all the other agencies in Lucia National Trust can better help to regulate the type of developments that take place within that area and to better control what happens within, within those spaces because we need to preserve that not just for now but for future generations. The World Heritage Committee has emphasized the importance of these guidelines asking St. Lucia to make them legally binding. The new law addresses these concerns, ensuring the PMA's preservation and compliance with international standards. The government is committed to working with all stakeholders to protect this valuable heritage site for future generations.